Oh gosh, what is going on, guys? Boy, MJ Swank, King Mod Marcus, aka King Marcus. Today we're back with another video. What is going on, guys? Now listen, I didn't think I was gonna be uploading something like these. Now I was talking to my old brother. You know, shout out to G. You feel me? Uh, he was telling me about this game called Dragon's Dogma. Now my brother is not here right now. My, my brother is doing his thing, you know, I'm not going to say where he's at, you feel me, but he's he's not, but he was saying he was supposed to come home today, you feel me, or a couple of days ago, he was supposed to come home. His dreadlock, his dreadlock buying never came home, so he's chilling, you know, so it's like, but he said he's coming back when Dragon's Dogma 2 is coming home, and I'm like, well... I've heard of this game before. What the heck is Dragon's Dogma? So I'm like, you know what? Let me check this game out because I love RPGs. I love, I'm in those kind of games. I'm, I love these kind of games I play. I love The Witcher, Skyrim. And I get Skyrim and The Witcher 3 vibes from this game right here. And uh, I need you guys, I listen, now look, I really need all y'all to come, to come in the, together in the comments below and really school me on this shit, you feel me? Um, so I really need to know what's up with this game. I need to know how good this game is because I'm gonna get it when it comes out. I love these kind of games, open world games. I'm gonna try my best to make time to play it. I got, I also picked up freaking uh, Persona 3 Reload and uh, Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth. And I guess I'm about to add another game to the collection because, yeah. And I also picked up Cyberpunk 2077. So, I got a lot of games to play. Uh, so, I'm going to be playing that. And I'm also going to be playing this Dragon Dogma game. Yo, peep game. I also picked up Persona 5 Royal. I didn't even open it yet. Persona 5 Royal on the Switch. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if this is good on the Switch. I don't know. I you know I've been sitting in there. I have yet to play it. I got so many games I have to play. Like I have freaking uh Zelda, like uh, Zelda. I have yet to freaking play. I mean, I played a little bit of the game, but I haven't played it. I've been playing Super Mario Odyssey, and I got One Piece Power Warriors Four. Um, but that's just you know. But you know, I got a lot of games. But I, this game right here definitely piqued my interest for sure. And it looks really good. I love the way the combat looks. I love the way everything all, everything looks. Terry, I tell you around around. The first game came out like what twelve years ago, bro. That's insane. So I want to see what this game's all about. This is the character creation. Uh, I'm ready to see what's about to go. So. In this Dragon's Dogma 2 video, we're going to be taking a look at the character creator of Let's Dragon's Dogma here, and showing you some right. things you can make in the character creator. Capcom released a character creator for the game kind of as a standalone that allows you to make your character and your pawns ahead of the game's release. This is great for people who spend a lot of time during character creation and want to kind of get it like that done now so they don't have to wait till the 22nd, 21st, etc. And spend like three, four hours in character creation before they can even play the game. They can do that now while they're waiting and then take those characters into the game. But in this video, I want to show you guys some of the cool things that you can do with the character creator thanks to some of the creative users on Reddit. So first of uh, all, before Reddit? I get into okay, showing wait, so you is this their part of the game? creations, you can see from the character creator that this is arguably one of the best, if not the best, character creators out there. If you saw our video recently, we were speculating on a lot of this stuff. A lot of previews have come out since then, confirming a lot of the wait, things so that we knew to be true about Dragon's Dogma uh... 1's character creator. But the character creator here is just absolutely insane. The amount of detail that you can put into your I mean, character. It looks you can spend hours amazing, and hours and hours like, really perfecting your character. Visually, everything and looks freaking I think great. people are just going to love, love this about the game. Job, and when we're talking about detail here, we're talking about like some things that you just do not see in other games. For instance, you can change the sheen of your hair color. Like you can make your hair shinier or less shiny. Like what game has that in it? You can change That's things pretty, like yo, muscle like style, kind of muscle strength. Upper muscle body mass, lower body m muscle mass, upper body size and lower body size. So you can make your character look buffer or bigger with less muscle. There's just like all kinds of things you can do here to really dial into your character. And if you want to make a character that looks just like you, this is probably one of the few character creators out there that will let you get practically as close as you can get. 
So enough That's about the character dope. creator. I know you guys love it, and I know you guys a lot of you guys download it and you're playing it. But let me show you some of the things that people on Reddit have made, and we'll have the users up here. Credit to them for doing this. They have made like a lot of famous characters from you know popular game series, from popular shows, and also real world people. Yeah, and some it's of these guys definitely phenomenal look how close this character creator made those things. And I can't wait to show you some of these things that are absolutely outstanding. So first up, we'll show you this one. I'm sure you can figure out who this is without too much thinking. This is Kratos from God of War. Is that Kratos? That's fire! the character this looks. This is like, I feel like they actually made this character in their character creator when they designed the character creator so that you could get as close as possible. This is absolutely insane. This, that's, if you saw a screenshot really of this good. from far away, you would actually think this is from God of War. Like, you would not believe that this is from Dragon's Dogma. And the next character yeah, we have on the well, screen should be familiar to those who have played Baldur's Gate 3 recently. This is, of course, Lysel, a very recognizable character from that game. And look how close this character looks to Baldur's Gate 3 itself. If you saw side-by-side -side screenshots of these characters, you would be hard-pressed to be able to tell which game, you know, which one is from which. They're so similar. It's such a good Bro, job. So is this going to be part of the actual game? And how about this one? This is another one that I recognized almost immediately, but some people might it's, not. Oh, is that, uh, I haven't played in a while. So this is cry. Nero from Devil May Cry. Yep. Look at how similar it that looks, looks to the really character good. of those that games. Looks it's really, absolutely really good. phenomenal. Again, if you saw them side by side, you might not be able to tell which game is which. Here's another one that I'm sure you guys could recognize uh, right away. This is, of course, Geralt of Rivia. And again, Look how close it looks. This one's maybe not as close as some of the ones I've showed earlier. Nah, but it's, but it's pretty damn close. See, that looks pretty it, good, man. You know, from maybe Wait, so a you little can bit do far this away, you would definitely think it was probably Bro, from The Witcher 3. Nice. It's an immediately sick, recognizable dude. character. You didn't need me to tell you who it was. That's obviously Geralt of Rivia. So who do you guys think this next one is? If you guys take a minute, I'm uh, sure you can that? figure out who it is. It looks pretty close to him, in my opinion. A very well, cool. you know, very good job here. This is, of course, Batman, Christian Bale. Look oh, how much shit, detail Christian this character Bale? creator has to make it so that you can actually recognize the face of a celebrity yeah, 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 based on you know that character creation alone. That's just absolutely incredible. So who is this next character? It might take you guys a few minutes to figure this out. I guarantee you. Once what? I Yo, you I've is, seen her like, before. Oh, yeah, why what? did I think of that? This is, of course, Pan Am from Cyberpunk 2077. That's right. Characters of that story. Probably not as famous as some of these other characters here, but very well loved in the community. And you can see there was an absolute fantastic job here done on her. It looks just like her. And how about this next one? This should be quite obvious once you look at it. Keanu Reeves? This is, of course, Keanu Reeves or John Wick. The person here did a fantastic job. You can tell this is him almost immediately when looking at it. It takes you maybe a couple seconds. Absolutely yeah, fantastic that job. Yeah, it's that jawline. Look at the line, detail bro. on this. Like, these are drastically different characters, and you can recognize who they are, which means if you are good enough and you have enough creativity, you can make basically any character you want in this character creation and it should look like you know the person that you're trying to make it look like and how about this next one i don't know how many people are going to get this one for uh, those two like, who did but this is wolf from vinland saga oh look shit, how close this, this looks to the anime saga. character this person did an outstanding that looks fire. job once you see that this, looks so nice dude immediately obvious bro that, this that is looks really good man. but until you see it you might be wondering who it is so on to the next one i'll give you guys a couple of <laughs> is seconds that Amelia to figure Clark? out who this is and it should be recognizable from her popular role in Game of Thrones. This is, of course, Daenerys. It's a very good rendition, in my opinion. It's not exactly the same. Like, the hair color is I slightly like it. different. It but you can really tell good. almost immediately once I say it that that's who the character Daenerys. is. Absolutely Amelia well Clark. done job here. There's okay, a lot of people Daenerys. out there who Game okay, of Thrones Khaleesi. characters. I've seen some Jon Snows out there. I've seen some other characters from the series. Definitely look around. There are a lot of, like, more than what we're showing here in terms of what you can do with this. And how about this one? I think people will probably get this immediately. Hey, look, bro, I don't know where is. I've seen Give you. A hint. So anyways, I started blasting. It's, of course, Danny DeVito. What a great that job. Is Danny looks DeVito. just like Danny Holy DeVito. Shit. Maybe if you took the glasses fire. off, it might be a little bit more recognizable. But obviously, he has that's glasses. Fire. Just don't think it's in that style. But that's absolutely Danny DeVito. You look at it, and you're like, yeah, that's Danny DeVito. I don't have to be told that's who it is. Absolutely amazing job here. So can you guys tell who this one is? Afro Samurai? Well, if you guessed Afro Samurai, you would be yes, Afro sir. Samurai, popular manga series. Bryce, Bryce, Fantastic nice. job here. You can tell who this character is almost immediately. Okay, on to the next one. Can you tell who this is? I'll give you a hint. Amber Heard took a shit on his bed. Oh, yep. Johnny, Johnny Depp. Depp. Johnny Depp. This is a very, very that's fucked up. My I don't know why. That's, that's, that's a shame that I remember from that, like that, though. Once I say it, you'll see it immediately. It might not be inherently obvious to some people who are not familiar with Johnny Depp. But once you say it, it's like, oh, yeah, that's that's obviously Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp's a freaking and legend, another bro. really good job here. So what about this one? Can you guys guess this one? Another hint, this is another Game of Thrones. Bro, character. who is that? 
This is Sir Braun of Blackwater, and obviously, if you put the character next to it, you can tell this is him immediately. Yeah, that Not is everyone him. has seen yeah, Game of Thrones, so oh, this might be a less be. recognizable character to some people. But once you see the side by side and you're aware, it's obvious that this is him. And what about this character? Can you tell who this is? Anyone out there play Baldur's Gate three recently? Nah, I don't, I don't this is play Baldur's Gate three. This is, is that game? Bro, yo, yo, all right, keep it a stack. Yo, but she is half wait, listen, so all that other crap to the side. Sure, but you can tell it's is that game really, really all that? Let's all, all keep it real. How good is that, that game there. actually? Okay? Saw a good Astarian one as well. So for those of you who love Baldur's Gate 3, there's some fantastic things you can do in this character creator. And what about this one? Does anyone know who this character is? looks familiar. I'll give you a hint. It just works. Yep, if you guessed Todd Howard, you got this one correct. Oh, yeah, Todd Howard. Again, this looks very, very similar to Todd Howard. I've actually seen Todd Howard and met Todd Howard in person. It looks quite like him. It's not a perfect resemblance of him, but for a character creator and probably someone didn't spend too see, long on this, you can me. see how close they got to him already. And as soon as I say Todd Howard, you're like, yeah, that looks like Todd Howard. So another very recognizable character here. And what about this character? Anyone know who this character is? If you're familiar with Lord of the Rings, then you'll get this almost immediately. This is Frodo Baggins. It's not oh, quite wow. a perfect striking rendition of Elijah Wood, but it looks very, very similar to him. And it again, does as soon as I say it, you're like, yep, yeah, that's who it is. So again, really, really well done here. So there are tons more things you can do with this character creator Yo, out there. My own, you, it looks really good. I just wanted to illustrate some of the really amazing things good. that Reeves and who have been Reeves using the character Bull creator Flip. early have done. Those are great. It's absolutely outstanding what their creativity has Danny accomplished. Beale's and I kind of wanted to use this Johnny as a Devil tool to good. not only spotlight some of the things the community's done that are amazing, but also inspire people to try and spend some time in the character creator and really work on their character and try and make it exactly how they want, whether that's trying to make it look just like yourself or maybe some character that you really love, and really get that character and your pawns exactly how you want. People have been asking for more Dragon's Dogma 2 coverage on this channel, and this is one that I thought of that I thought was very interesting. It's not something we normally do, and obviously we're going to have more Dragon's Dogma 2 coverage moving forward, moving into the launch of the game on the 22nd. We will be covering Rise of Ronin and Dragon's Dogma at the same time. I don't know if we'll be doing as much Rise of the Ronin coverage as we will Dragon's Dogma. It seems like everyone really, really wanted Dragon's Dogma 2 coverage on this channel. So odds are we're going to be doing a hefty oh, amount of that, that moving forward. I, I so think this game's right, bro. If so are there the other characters out there that I missed like that, that you've seen bro, around that have been fantastic? Are you working on your character or character creation or character editor? Have you downloaded it? Are you messing around with it? Yeah, Let me know what you think so far. My brother loves catching up with me. Oh, yo, y'all getting that new Rise of Ronin, though, bro? That don't look spot. Yo, all these good games are coming out soon, bro. Oh, man, great. Like, yo, this has been a great year for gaming already so far. Um, so that's pretty good. I definitely did enjoy that. I definitely do want to get this game for sure because I love, like, games that play this kind of style. I'm craving for, like, another, like, magical, you know, kind of RPG kind of game. So, man, it looks with the game, it looks great. Uh... Alright, everything about it looks really good. And it seems to be up my alley too. It's gotta play like all the time until it, at least try to. Um, I have to beat a couple games. I have to beat Spider Man before I even get another game. I gotta beat Spider Man first before I do that. So, yeah. Uh, I still have not. I'm almost done. Marvel Spider Man 2. I literally this close to being finished. Um, but yeah, you guys let me know in the comments below how you guys feel about the Dragon's Dogma 2. Let me know in the comments below, like, you know, what should I know about it? You know, what, you know, where you guys hype, what are you guys looking forward to. Um, yeah, guys, I'll catch you on the next video. I might upload one more video. We'll see. Um, but, yeah, we'll see how everything goes. I'll see you guys in the next video. If not, I'll catch you all maybe tomorrow. It's the, uh, this is MJ Twink and Maj Market at the Flying Lotus, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, Z.